In this tutorial we're going to be making a change to our camera to video application so when we take images or videos we can inform other applications of those recently taken vid videos or images via the media store. Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials, my name's Nigel. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to make a change to our Camera 2 video application so, so that it informs the media store database of when a new uh, image or video has been taken. In other words, the, that the details of that video or that image get um, inserted into the media store database. What that means is other applications such as our media store thumbnail viewer will be updated with those latest changes. So that's not yet happening. Okay, so we're gonna go to our Android camera to uh, video application and make those changes now. So the first thing I think I'll do is I'll notify the media store of when we've taken a new image. Okay, so I'll just have to find out when that, so basically I want to do that once once we've written the image file to, to storage, I want to then notify the media store of that. So first place, first thing I have to do is to find out when I actually save the image. Okay, so what we've got here is We've got the image saver cl runnable cl um, the image saver runnable, so where we actually save the image on a background thread. So after we've actually written the file to storage, we close the image. So here's a good place where I can add the code to uh, notify the media store. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create an intent. What this intent is going to do is it's going to notify the media store that we've actually um, created a new media file, so, so to say. So we'll create an intent, and I'll call it, what should I call it, media store update intent. And it's got to be a new intent there. And from there, we can then create our action. So it's going to be action so it's at the top action media scanner scan file is the intent I want so basically we're going to tell the media store to rescan its database with the new details we're going to provide here okay now I have to provide in my intent I have to provide the URI location of the video or the image in this case that we're going to add so we'll call our media store, call set data with the URI of the file. And to get the URI, I'm just going to have to do URI from the file itself. So we have the details of the file there. So I do need to create a new file object just to get that information. And it's the M image file name is the name of the file that we've just saved there. And as you can see up here, it's M image file name. So we've now created that intent. The next step is to actually notify the media store that we've created this new file and to supply it with the URI we've just set up there and then put into our intent. So to do that, it's just a matter of calling send broadcast and providing it with our intent is the media store update intent and that's it so let's let me copy and paste this because we're going to have to do the same for when we save videos as well so this is for images we've just taken an image whether or not we're in a preview uh, recording mode preview or recording mode so we'll go to the video when we actually save a video I believe that code is neon create 
So right down here we've got the on click for the button where we actually take videos. And as you can see here, once we stop and reset the media, media recorder, we've actually completed recording. So here's a good place for us to notify the media store that we've taken a video. And so I pasted that code down there. So let's just put... Oh. So there's the code there. And in this case, it's not going to be the image file name, it's going to be the video name. So we'll change that to the video file name. And so that's going to have the details from here. We extract the URI to send to the media store database of the new information we want provided there. Okay, so that's that's it. Um, what I'm going to do in here now is run this application. Um, what should I do? I'll take a photo. I'll, I'll take a video and a photo. Uh, and between each one, what I'll do is I will start up the media store thumbnail viewer and we'll see those get updated. Okay, so I've got a big set of headphones here. We'll use that to take the picture. First thing here is to actually start up the application. Application is now starting. What I'm going to do is just record what's happening on my screen. And so, first thing I'll do is I'll just take a photo first of headphones. Now, let's go to my, I'm not too sure that took that, but let's go to the media thumbnail viewer. No, I don't think that actually took the photo, so we'll try that again. Might have not had focus. Yeah, it's now taken it. So let's go back to our thumbnail viewer. And as you can see straight up there, um, you'll, be, uh, you'll be able to see this uh, screen recording anyway. It's now taken our headphones. So let's do the same. We'll take a little video of my computer screen and let's see if that thumbnail gets updated real time, so to say. So let's start recording. Stop recording. Now I'll go back to our media thumbnail viewer and as you can see the thumbnail has been generated for the video as well. So that concludes this video. What we learned is if you do develop your own video or image application um, and you want to share your images or videos with other applications such as viewers, um, you will have to notify the media store and we showed you how to do that by setting up a, a broadcast intent to notify the media store just to do a rescan of its database to add the new details there. Quite simple and this is just a helper tutorial just for the development of our media thumbnail viewer to assist with that development which is still ongoing at the moment. Anyway, if you like these tutorials and you want to be not notified of future tutorials to camera applications or any other um, video tutorials that I'm working on, don't forget to click that subscribe button down below me. And surrounding me to my this side is all my social media accounts. So if you want to get updated of any news when I finish a video, when I finish an article or any announcements I have, it's a good idea to... Um, uh, click over to those accounts now. If you're on a PC, you can click those accounts. Um, directly above me is a link to my website. So that's a good place to watch the videos. Not only do you get the video itself, you get a brief description of the changes made and also instructions of how to get the code from GitHub. And if you've got any questions for me that are not directly related to this tutorial in the form of a bug, bug you will need to contact me on Code Mentor, and I've put a link just there to that as well. Anyway, that concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching, and bye for now.